Hi everyone! So today I'm gonna film my February wax melt empties and basically I think I did a pretty good job with my February melting basket but in general I'm also such a mood melter that I found myself also grabbing things that I just felt like melting that day so all in all, I probably would say I got through maybe like half of my February melting basket and then you'll see things that I just like felt like pulling. So it's a lot. I think I went through a good amount. Um, so let's just start. I'm going to pull the non-wax empties because there's so few things. It's literally just this one Bath and Body Works foaming hand soap in snowy peach berry. Really enjoyed that love the packaging super cute and then i also finished this vanilla bean noel this is from this year i love this scent i find that like the vanilla bean noel scents just turn like really yellow and i think it's the vanilla fragrance oil that kind of like discolors a little bit and turns a little bit yellowy but i know this was definitely still good it smelled really amazing and it was from this year so it just kind of tends to discolor a little bit love it i went through this ultimate hydration body cream probably twice as fast as a uh maybe even more more quickly than the body wash because I started this and the body wash at the same time and I think I had just about reached the halfway point in my body wash when this was finished and I still have probably a fourth of my body wash left so I go through lotion, it was kind of an experiment. I go through lotion way quicker than I go through the body washes. Um, and I think it's because when I shower, I use like, I don't know, maybe like a quarter size, probably less body wash and it lathers and foams and you can use that amount for your whole shower. And then I always, after every shower, put lotion on my whole body, basically arms, legs. So I can just go through lotions a little bit quicker. But anyway, I loved this. I thought it was so good. Um, I'm getting a phone call. I will be right back. All right. So the next non-wax empty, and this is the last thing, is a Homeworks candle in glazed blueberry muffin. I actually had one other Homeworks candle that I found at my home goods, but I had burned through that and it was like right before we were moving. So I ended up throwing it, the empty away. But I have this one to share. So this is like the price tag from Home Goods. I found at my Home Goods like probably 20 of these, not this scent in general, but like 20 different candles, which I thought was super cool because I feel like I these are kind of like sought after. And this is the first time I saw them at Home Goods. First and only time. I've been back multiple times and never seen any more of them. So I'm glad I picked up two of them when I had found them, which was, it had to have been like December-ish, like early December. Um, so this is what it looks like after I've burned it. I wanted to share it in this empties video because I'm gonna burn it one more time tonight and I think it'll be completely empty, but I just wanted to share it because it's almost gone. So it is a little bit of, I don't know, It's it's got a little bit of soot in the wax now, but overall it's burned really beautifully. It's the four wick candle. Overall, it smells really good when I burn it. Now, because it's really at the end there, it kind of doesn't smell. It kind of smells a little bit like the soot, like the burning um, wick a little bit. But um, I really liked it. It says the fragrance notes are blueberry jam, lemon sugar, fresh pastry, elderberry syrup. And I don't know if this is maybe the date. I'm not sure. But um, I really liked it. If I saw these again at Home Goods, I would definitely pick one or two up um and I was looking it up online like I saw these on the homeworks website so I feel like $16.99 is a pretty fair price I mean it's a big candle I like the four wicks I feel like that made it burn very beautifully so yeah I really like it I'm just like I said I'm showing it in this video I will burn it one more time tonight and let it kind of burn itself out so like that a lot um I'm going to go through my clamshells first. So this is a mixture of Scentsy, Bathing Garden, and then a few Ks. So let me 
let me go through the Scentsy because a lot of them are tried and trues, so I'm not going to talk about them too long. And the ones that I'll go over longer are the ones that I was trying out to see if I wanted to keep in my March Scentsy Club, which actually just processed today. So one of my next-ish videos in the future will probably be my March Scentsy Club. So I have done... Wait, were these all new? Actually, a lot of these might have been new because I was testing them out. Um, I for sure melted red, white, and berry pie before, but the reason I wanted to melt this one is because I was also melting maraschino sugar cookie, and I was kind of doing an experiment if I wanted to keep one or both in my club still. And my conclusion is I want to keep both. I like them both and I feel like they're different enough. Like red, white, and berry pie, I feel like has much more of like a tart cherry note in it. And this to me leans more fruity. And maraschino sugar cookie is much more sweet cherry. And I feel like it leans more bakery forward cherry second. So I feel like they're different enough to keep both. I had a quantity of two of the maraschino sugar cookies in my club. I did drop it down to one. I don't really have a quantity of two of anything in my club and I don't really want to start getting multiples because there is quite a bit of bars in my club that I just don't want to pay for like multiples of, of what, them when I have so much wax in my collection anyway. I'm not going to go through it that quickly. So I love them both. If you like a more fruity forward, probably red, white, and berry pie. If you like more bakery forward, probably maraschino sugar cookie. And they both had, to me, really good performance. I would say like probably a solid like eight hours to like a day, but not like longer. But I really liked them. Um, cranberry muffin was really, really good. This was a bring back my bar that I was testing out. I really liked it. I feel like it's more body care leaning berry like cranberry over bakery edible cranberry muffin so I mean I really liked it it was pretty I got good performance um to me for some reason I just didn't feel like it was bakery leaning I thought it was more like a pretty like I, I could see this being like a body wash or something that I would use um I did get this again in my March club because I liked it. So I want to get it at least again to test out. But I feel like that'd be pretty for the fall time. Um, Apple Press. This was good. I had gotten this in my um, just February haul because I wanted to try it out. It was really good. I enjoyed it. But it's nothing... It's... It's not a special Apple scent where I wanted to get it again in my club. Like, I feel like I could get... A very similar apple scent come the fall time and I would be just as pleased so it was pretty enjoyed it while I warmed it but I didn't keep it in my club for March Halloween Town I know in my haul my February no my January Scentsy Club haul um I had all the Halloween Town bars this is the only one I hadn't tried so I wanted to give it a try and I was a little iffy on cold I liked it on warm. It was pretty. It was a good performer, but it's still my least favorite of the Halloween Town Halloween, yeah, Halloween Town bars. So I did remove it from my club. I still have um Roll of the Dice and Jack's Obsession, and I'm going to keep those in at least one more time, probably try them out, maybe keep them till the fall time. I just feel like these usually from what I've seen come back in the fall. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep them in my club long term, but for now, the other two are still in my club. This one I did end up removing. It's funny how I write notes on my clam sometimes and some the fragrance oil like, I don't know, eats away at the marker and some the note stays just fine. So it's kind of funny how that happens. This bar I think was on the older side because it really discolored and turned yellow and it doesn't have like the cute little patterns in the clamshell so it might have just been a little on the older side but it's good it's funny I almost feel like I'm getting like a slight like black licorice note but that's not in the um it's not in the scent notes um but anyway I enjoyed it 
I would maybe pick it up if it came out again next year, but it wasn't club worthy for me. Vanilla cream. It's weird. I, so I didn't smell it much on cold. Now I don't like to judge wax too harshly on cold because I really feel like you have to warm it to make your final kind of like decision. I know I had a couple comments saying that like it really transformed for some people on warm. I still felt it was very light. I kind of almost felt like I was just smelling like a, a wax scent, if that makes sense. Like I just didn't feel like it was strong enough or impressed me enough that I wanted to keep it. So I did remove this one from my club. Um, it just, it didn't stand out to me. It just wasn't too special. I know Scentsy's Bakery, they like really chopped a lot of the bakery out from the spring summer catalog. So actually you'll see in my um, March club, I ended up adding a lot of those like cozy bakery scents before they got removed. And I just want to try them out and we'll see if we keep them or not. Um, crumb top. I'm trying to, I think I cut this out of my club as well. I'm trying to remember, I just edited my club before it processed and now I can't remember. I think what I was going to do is I was going to keep one more bar, but because I just added some new spring summer bars, I ended up cutting this because I didn't love it enough where I was like, Ugh. Do I really want one more bar, even though it didn't really, it wasn't that outstanding to me. So I ended up cutting this, I believe. I liked it, which is why I was like, do I want one more to test out? But I just, I didn't love it. So I'm like, I, I don't think I need it. So um, even on warm, like I thought it was on the light end. So yeah, it, it's okay. I, I almost kept it because the bakery is so slim now, but I was like, I don't love it enough. And I have more than enough bakery wax from vendor wax in my collection that I love more. So I have Scary Good. I just wanted to try it. This is another one that was like going away from the fall winter catalog. So I wanted to give it a try. Um, I really liked it. I definitely feel like it's a cozy fall blend and I feel like it gets a little spicier on warm. But I just feel like it just, like, when I smell this, I smell fall. So I did get one more bar because I kind of want to, like, collect it some for the fall time. Um, I don't know if I would warm this again. Like, I did this on a snowy day. I don't think I would do this in the spring or summer. Like, it just screams cozy spices fall time. But I really like it. So I thought it had a good good performance. Like I said, I think as it goes on as the hours go on I feel like it gets a little spicier but I like it so I kept this one in my club melon and apple granita really pretty I think this is a nice melon blend long lasting good throw but it doesn't stand out as something like I need in my club so I enjoyed it while I warmed it I think this would be a great spring summer blend but there are other spring summer bars I'm going to be trying and there are other bars that I think I like more than this one. So it was a good, you know, I enjoyed it while I warmed it, but I didn't need more. Caramel chestnut. I ended up keeping. I was iffy on it on cold. Like it came off a little more roasted chestnut than I was thinking. Not really on the caramel side, but when I warmed it, something about it feels like it's going to be so warm and cozy in the winter time that I kind of just wanted to add it to my club in case it doesn't come back next year. And this is another one that I'll probably like just kind of collect up during my spring and summer clubs that process for the fall and winter time. And then, you know, if it comes back in the fall and winter, I'd probably remove it, but I kind of just want to keep it there just in case it doesn't come back because I feel like it's going to be such a good scent on like a cold fall or winter night. So it had pretty good performance. Definitely, like I said, the cozy like chestnut is strong. I don't think if you don't like caramel scents, I don't feel like it's overly caramel. It's just a nice roasted chestnut scent. Um, two more Scentsy. I have P Pima Cotton. At first I was going to get another bar of this, but and it was really strong and long lasting, but 
I'm not picky when it comes to kind of the fresh clean laundry blends and so like although it is really beautiful if I'm craving a laundry scent kind of any laundry scent will do which I think that's what Hannah my Scentsy consultant says too like I just feel like like it's so good but I'm not picky when it comes to laundry essentially is what I'm trying to say and then the last one I just wanted to warm because I have two in my collection I want to keep it in my Scentsy Club, but I also did see that this one's coming out in a Scentsy Brick soon. I don't know when, but sometime soon. I probably will pick it up in a brick because I love this one and I think it's fun to collect a few bricks. I only have like four in my collection, but I think I will pick up some of the summer, spring, summer bricks. Um, and the packaging looks so cute from like the sneak peek I saw, like the picture. I love this cucumber and cactus water. It's so pretty, so long lasting. Like actually this is still in my warmers and I put it in yesterday. So it's been, it's been going for about a day and a half. I think it's like a perfumey scent, very strong perfumey. I could almost see it maybe being a little headache inducing to some people if perfumey, super strong perfumey scents like can be headache inducing for some people for me it's really pretty and I enjoy it but I'm aware like we had guests over and I was almost a little worried I should turn off a warmer or two like I was almost a little worried it was too strong but I ended up keeping it because we for the majority of the time we were hanging out in our basement area and watching some tv and I don't have a warmer down there so I you know the majority of the time we weren't around warmers so I just let it be but I really like this one and I'm looking forward to getting it in a Scentsy brick. All right, so now let's go on to the two K's um, clams that I melted. So one was strawberry white cake. I really liked it. It was so pretty. It almost smells like a strawberry cotton candy scent. It's really pretty. I like it. I've been enjoying my K's. I think it's been really nice. My custom like K's cuts that I've created, I've really liked. So this one was really good. Um, this one is Bake Shop. It smells so good on cold, but um, for some reason, I don't know if it was the day, maybe it was just really cold. Maybe I just wasn't noticing it, but I didn't feel like I smelled this one as much on warm as I expected to. It could have just been the day, like I said, maybe I just didn't notice because it smells so good on cold, but this one I kind of didn't get the greatest performance on. And then some bathing garden. I did not pull these in my Valentine's Day slash February melting basket, but I remembered I had so much, so I ended up pulling some and warming. The majority of them I'm gonna say like I enjoyed while I warmed, but I probably wouldn't repurchase because I feel like that is a lot of sense. Like, when we have so much sense in our collection, I mean, you can't love like everything. I enjoy it, but I don't necessarily like feel like I love it enough to repurchase kind of a thing. So um, the first one is the Great Grape Waffle Cone. This was really good, like strong and long lasting. And it reminded me exactly of like a grape Tootsie Pop, like sucker, like candy. So if you like grape candy kind of a scent, you'd like this. This is Poppet's Coaster Ride. This one was pretty good. I did this one in our warmer in our living room and I would usually smell it when I was walking down the staircase. To me, so it says strawberry, peach jam, tart, lemon curd, and raspberry cake bites. To me, it was mainly like a peach candy scent. That's what came out the most to me. Um, it was a pretty like springy, bright, fruity, sweet scent, but I'm not crazy about peach scents. I didn't mind it. Like I said, it kind of reminded me of like a peach gummy, but there are other fruity scents I would reach for before that. Um, raspberry hearts, strawberry slices, ripe raspberries, and white cake bites. This one, honestly, again, I don't know if it was just me the day I was warming. This one I didn't really notice. In general, I think bathing garden is usually like light to medium you can get some powerhouse scents every now and again this one to me i didn't notice though this one was kind of light sometimes there are also some like dud scents while we're going on the line of like scents i couldn't really smell this was another one seven layer cake there were honestly two more cubes but i can't smell it it's so light on cold honestly i didn't have high expectations for when i went to warm it and i didn't really notice it at all on warm either 
So it's kind of like, I don't feel like I need to warm the other cubes. I already spent the money on it. I can't smell it. I'd rather enjoy something I can smell. So probably wouldn't recommend that one. Um, what is this? Knave of Hearts, fresh picked strawberries, seven layer cake, brown sugar crystals, and coconut flakes. This one, honestly, I didn't really notice either. And I'm saying that because like I write these little notes so I can remember like if I smelled something strong or not. Because if I'm reviewing a whole month of wax melts, I wouldn't be able to remember off the top of my head. So I always like try to write notes. And this is one again, I couldn't really notice. So I do find like, like I said, in general, I feel like it's light to medium. There are some hits and there are some misses, but sometimes that happens just within any vendor too. Like you might have some really great ones and then every once in a while you just get some misses. Um, this one was blush. This one was really strong and long lasting. It smells like candy. It says boysenberries, elderberries, strawberries, guava, and pomegranate. Like this one I remember being super strong because I smelled it really strongly when I would walk down the staircase. So this one was a good performer. And then the last one I have here is Tunnel of Love. This one was another pretty one. It mainly smelled like a sweet pink sugar. This one was more on the lines of it being kind of light to medium, but I did smell it. It just wasn't super strong, but it was pretty. It was a pretty scent. So those are my bathing garden. Scentsy and K's, all the clamshells. I'm just putting them back in the container so I don't tip them over on the floor here. Now let's go on to some of my other wax items. Let's do some swanky first. I pulled out some swanky because swanky just recently had a pre-order so I wanted to start melting a few things. I tend to really enjoy my swanky. Love how soft the wax formula is. It's soft but it's not soft enough where it like melts in your hand kind of like it's so nice to chop though so I really like it I get in general pretty good performance from Swanky I really enjoy it they do great bakery scents because I gravitate towards bakery but I've also heard people say they have really amazing like fresh scents as well so in this most recent pre-order I ordered one of the fresh like samplers to try out just because I get so much big green and I would totally buy mystery grab bags if she released them after this pre-order ships which I think she wrote on Facebook that all the orders now have shipped queen of cupcakes strawberry bread blackberry jam butter cookies this was a scent shot and their scent shots are big I always cut them in fourths and so I have four I can put them in four different warmers um I really liked it I love that. I think this is from her Queen of Cupcakes sampler. I love it. She has a great Queen of Cupcakes, which is like a cupcakes at Tiffany's decadent bakery blend. Um, I feel like I can smell the blackberry jam butter cookie, but I might be warming up to that note. I didn't always like it in the past, but I feel like mixed with Swanky's bakery, it's doable and I don't mind it. And I'm also kind of curious and I have got a few of her buttery toast and jam scents that again to me read similar. I know it's not the same note as blackberry jam butter cookie, but it kind of reminds me of blackberry jam butter cookie. Um, <clears throat> the uh, buttery toast and jam, I've gotten a few of those blends. So I'm really excited and curious to try them out. So anyway, really enjoyed this one. This was another queen of cupcakes sampler, queen of cupcakes, raspberry jam, whipped cream, so good. I loved this one. You get the raspberry jam, I feel like, on cold, but the Queen of Cupcakes really came out on warm, too. It was so good. She has a really amazing raspberry jam. Definitely edible, fruity raspberry jam, not floral or perfumey. And then Falling in Love, which is her strawberry pound cake bakery blend. This is amazing. If you ever see Falling in Love, Falling in Love Cozy Mittens, anything mixed with Falling in Love, get it it's so good I love her strawberry pound cake blueberry I blueberry cookie ice cream cake this was really good nice blueberry bakery enjoyed that blackberry jam butter cookie strawberry pound cake cupcakes at Tiffany's raspberry jam mainly cupcakes at Tiffany's and like the raspberry jam is kind of what came out I really liked it you guys I 
Swanky is quickly becoming one of my favorite vendors like in a top like five like I love the performance love how soft the formula is um I'm just really liking it okay this is fall nights this is so good this was like such a creamy cozy pumpkin bakery I will say after a few hours I feel like some more of like the pumpkin spices kind of come out but it's still so good and cozy and such a good fall time bakery so really enjoyed that a lot of this stuff like I got from grab bags like in these kind of poly pro bags wildberry cream cake waffle cone this actually I think was a rose this was okay to be honest it's not my favorite like wildberry blend that I've warmed before um it was fine um good performance but like the blend itself wasn't too special like I wouldn't like look out for that necessarily again hard far farmhouse cider this is this was like a good fall almost potpourri leaning blend to me again this is from like a grab bag it was really strong um kind of like a slightly spiced cider like I said kind of slightly spiced cider slash potpourri I don't know what makes it like a hard farmhouse cider like I didn't get any sort of like alcohol boozy kind of note or anything which I'm glad but it just kind of smelled like a fall spices kind of a scent and then vanilla romance this came off as kind of like a body care vanilla a nice like cozy pretty scent this was a good performance I enjoyed it um let's do some VCS I have a lot of VCS here um so VCS is closing at the end of the year so I'm kind of experimenting because if there is anything I really want, you, I kind of have to look out for it in RTSs or pre-orders. Um, so I don't know. So it's kind of like I'm warming through it just like, I don't know, just because I want to enjoy it and I am really liking it. But at the same time, like, it's hard because like if you really love something, you know, she won't be open too much longer. So you kind of have to look out. Let me go over these two really quick first. These are um, samplers, sugar cookie samplers that I got kind of in like the summertime. Um, so the first one is a fall in love with sugar cookie sampler. So it's sugar cookies with like fall scent notes mixed in there. So um, I warmed these. Most of them I wrote little notes on. So let's just go through. It kind of seemed like it was like kind of hit or miss. Like some either were amazing or I didn't really notice. Um, this one smelled like a craft store to me, I wrote. This one was really good. She has an amazing cider lane, so I would look out for more cider lanes if she has any openings. Jackie O Lantern, this one was really nice. I enjoyed this one. Um, My Lucky Rat Tail. I have this in other wax items in my collection. So I'm definitely curious to give this a try again because I didn't notice it that much on warm. It wasn't super strong. So I'm just curious. A lot of these I did in my warmer in my living room. So I either really noticed it when I was coming down the stairs or I didn't. So this is just one where I just didn't notice it too much. But I'm curious to try it again because I have more in my collection. Dead Man's Toe. I didn't, I didn't really notice. Barely noticed that one. Lovely Lydia Sugar Cookies or sugar cookie dough. Again, didn't really notice this one too much. Um, McBoo's sugar cookies. I don't know why this happened. It smells so amazing on cold, but I didn't really notice it on warm. Like it could be the day I warmed some of these. Like maybe it was just like a little bit cooler temperature and I didn't get a great throw. But some are really good. So I don't know. I have more shapes of this. So again, kind of like the... What was the other one? The My Lucky Rat Tail. I'll be curious to see when I try out my other shapes because I, I know I have like two pack ghosts. I know I have some like two pack leaves. So I'm going to try cutting it up more and also just warming it in a different area because my living room is a really big like open concept floor with pretty high ceilings like nine feet. I mean not that high. But I notice like I get really good throw in my office because this is the only room that I have two warmers in. 
and I always get good performance in here. So I'm curious to try it out again in a different room, different warmers, different area. So Dracula zucchini bread. This was like buttery. It almost reminded me when I was coming down the stairs, I was like, I smell like a buttery popcorn note almost. I'm not sure why. Maybe that caramel pecan swirl note is what kind of made it like buttery popcorn-y kind of a scent. I'm not sure how I felt about it, but it was strong. And then this one, Lizzie Borden's sugar cookies. This reminded me of like a maple syrup pancake breakfast scent. So really strong. So that was my fall in love with sugar cookie sampler. And then I have me want sugar cookies. So this is just like a decadent bakery cookie sampler. So we have Donut Worry Be Happy. I said nice. That's what I said on this. So I it must have been nice. This one is Sally's Bakery. Love. I wrote amazing, so strong, so good. I think I write my notes really fast. So sometimes I don't even know what I wrote, but this is amazing. Like I remember loving it. A lot of these I did in my office this time around. So maybe that's why like a lot of these ones, I felt like I got really good throw on. So I don't know. Don't take my reviews too much to heart on these because it's hard sometimes. I feel like it wasn't as fair because I did those in my really big open concept um living room that only has one warmer so you know whereas this one I did with the two warmers these were tiles so I split the tile in half and did it in both my office warmers and it threw really well but anyway love this so good her Sally's stitch stitched up sugar cookie it's like a really good blend I've had that before cookie monsters post this was really nice like a really nice zucchini bread bakery I liked this one a lot um, bad guy sugar cookies. This was nice. A nice pistachio bakery. Probably like kind of a medium throw. Oh, what a beautiful morning zucchini. Really strong. I wrote kind of like a maple syrupy pancake bakery dessert kind of a smell. That's the way the cookie crumbles. I said this was pretty. And then cozy Jackie O sugar cookies. Again, I just kind of said it was like a pretty scent. So that was the other sampler. Then we have some other, just other items that I've uh, warmed. So we have You Belong With Me. This was pink sugar heavy, really pretty, but mainly just smelled like pink sugar, like a medium throw. Tara Will Never Go Hungry Again. I love this scent. This is a really good wild berry mousse blend. Really pretty amazing i've had this in blends before i actually did get a blossom bar of this so i really like it pin curls and finger waves mainly just smelled like pink sugar but really pretty and long lasting aunt nelly's vanity this was pretty pink sugar again is what definitely lingers i did get some of these other scent notes like i got some cupcakes at, at tiffany's and zucchini bread at the beginning but after a couple hours, like it's definitely just the pink sugar. Uh, I did a ton of like pink sugar kind of body carry blends. This one's strawberry pink chiffon Jackie O. And um, the funny thing is, I thought it was pink sugar. But because I, I wrote on my notes initially like, oh, well, like I definitely kind of got like thought it was the pink sugar I was smelling the strongest. But then I realized like it's pink chiffon. So I think I got the whiffs of the pink chiffon but yeah pretty these were amazing these were those love postcards that she did last year around valentine's day reese's book club oh my gosh was this amazing such a good lemon zucchini bread blend so good really good performance and then martha's strawberry cheesecake i love anything with martha and snoop like that kind of blend so good this was amazing i really enjoyed it we have a Southbound Bakery Bag in Pecan Waffle Pound Cake. This was a really decadent pumpkin pecan waffle bakery with a really strong throw. This was really good. Then we have our last kind of bundle of items. 
I have some candles from the keeping room like samples I don't really know why I included these but um this one marshmallow cotton candy frosted sugar cookie honestly this one was really light I didn't really notice this on warm this one's raspberry cream mousse this was a pretty this was really good raspberry like bakery definitely bakery fruity not floral or perfumey so I enjoyed this one um this one is birthday cake and ice cream it didn't smell a whole lot on cold but it really did transform on warm and it was a lot better on warm it still wasn't the strongest blend but I did notice it a lot more on warm than I was expecting based on how it smelled on cold and then this is Tiffany's Wildberry Cupcakes. This is really nice. I enjoyed this one a lot. Really good mix of the cupcakes at Tiffany's and Wildberry Mousse. I would look out for this. She's Her next opening, it was going to be March 18th. I saw on Facebook she pushed it to March, I think, 25th. But double check her Facebook page. I'm pretty sure I saw this on her website. So I would definitely pick some up. Um, two pharmacist daughter. This is pink pajamas. This was really pretty and long lasting. I don't, I don't plan to repurchase from the pharmacist daughter for a while because I have such a big collection, but this is one I would consider repurchasing in the distant future just because I have so much in my collection. I really need to warm through first, but it was really good. Peppermint dream mainly like a peppermint minty scent it was it was nice nothing like too memorable or outstanding but a nice mint scent two broadway wax royal family oh my gosh was this good i loved it such such a nice like bakery blend it says strawberry pound cake is in there but i feel like i got more of the other like decadent bakery notes first it was really good though and this is straw ba 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 berry <laughs> This to me was more of like a tart candy strawberry. It was strong and long lasting, but not my favorite kind of a strawberry blend. A couple Teddy Bees. This is Pink Moon. This was a really pretty scent, a medium throw. I warmed this one like my mom visited because I feel like she'd kind of like this sort of like sweet kind of florally scent. Um, it definitely to me was floral. Um, it's got sweet lavender, rain, crushed apple blossom, blossoms, bruised flowers. So it's definitely floral, almost even a tiny bit to me, powdery leaning floral. Overall, like I enjoyed it while I warmed it, but I probably wouldn't repurchase this one. And then milk and cookies. I tried it again. I think I've had this before. People rave about it. it it's to me, it's nothing too crazy or like outstanding smelling on cold and I also feel like I really didn't notice it on warm so I don't know I don't think I'd purchase this again I wanted to try it again because it's just so popular but I don't know it's just nothing special to me I would still consider getting it if it's in a blend but I don't think I'd get this on its own again personally some rose girls we've got some samples first blueberry cobbler um, I don't know why, but I didn't really notice this when I went to warm it. Um, this is Cider Lane Cookie Land Whipped Cream. So good. She has a really good Cider Lane. I didn't really get any of the other bakery, the Cookie Land or Whipped Cream, but I got the Cider Lane and it was really good. Oh, I have two of those because that, that was from a Halloween sampler. And then Lavender Marshmallow Cupcakes at Tiffany's I warmed as well. I really like her lavender. I love her cupcakes at Tiffany's, so enjoyed that. This was a little chunk muffin. So this one was from her chunk muffin pre-order from 2021. And she just had a pre-order with chunk muffins, and I did order a lot. Um, this is Lover All Nighter and Stainless Steel. This was so strong. So strong and long-lasting. To me, it kind of smells like um a little bit masculine slightly cologne like but oh my goodness this lasted forever and it was a powerhouse strawberry malo bread really nice really good strawberry bakery blend i would totally consider purchasing this again in the future she had a very similar blend in her most recent pre-order she had where this it was in a blend it wasn't this exact one but similar Strawberry Pound Cake Cotton Candy Frosting Monster Cookie. 
and this is from 11 2021 i wrote it in my little note down there and i still got really good throw mainly straw like mainly i got the cotton candy and the strawberry the most um didn't notice like the monster cookie so much to me it smelled like just like a very sweet strawberry bakery so um i added this because this is jenny's mom's shop this is um scoopable tart wax and this was a chunk pie actually two of them i cut up um and i double bagged it in good night moon love it i don't always get the best performance from scoopable wax tart i'm not sure why um my other half pies or quarter pies i've gotten from scoopable wax tart i didn't notice a whole lot on warm this one though was amazing just as strong as jenny's uh good night moon in her mini melters and her wax shapes so this did amazing i loved it so so good i would repurchase this over and over again from jenny or scoopable wax tart one sassy girl aroma loaf and in it's barbie's world this is so strong loved it satsuma heavy so it says blueberry strawberry satsuma cotton candy but honestly i mainly just got satsuma like a sweet satsuma um so strong so long lasting i loved it sometimes i'm sometimes i'm like oh my goodness do i really need a loaf size but this is something that i love so much that maybe i would get another loaf of it um, here's my destination wax, um, strawberry seeds loaf I finished up. I really like it. I actually just got another little destination wax order. It was small enough where I'm going to add it into a planner sticker haul, um, for like March accumulation. So if you do want to see what I got from destination wax, you can look out for that video in the future. Um, I did get more strawberry seeds cause I really love it. It's like, to me, it's not really a realistic or fresh pick strawberry scent. It's more of like a chapsticky strawberry candy kind of a scent. A little bit more artificial, but so good. I really like it. So definitely a repurchase because I did repurchase it. And then we have some L3 to finish out the haul. Pumpkin pecan waffle sugar cookie royale Hufflepuff. Amazing. So strong. So good. Couldn't get enough of this on while it was warming. But in general, L3 isn't the longest lasting, but while it's going, it's so good. Strawberry Pound Cake Pumpkin Pecan Waffle Sugar Cookie Royale. So pretty similar to that last one and same exact review. So good, so amazing, so strong while it's going, but not long lasting necessarily. And when I mean that, I mean it's like it kind of fizzles out after like, you know, four hours maybe. So long enough for me because I don't mind changing my wax. Wildberry Moose Birthday Cake. This was okay. Not my favorite Wildberry Moose blend. Nothing too special. Birthday Cake Pink Sugar sh Sugar Cookie Royale. Really pretty. Mainly I got the pink sugar that came out. So I feel like pink sugar tends to take over some blends. Because in the VCS ones, I pretty much only smelled the pink sugar. Um, but it was pretty. I mean, I love pink sugar. So um, Pumpkin Pecan Waffle. Pumpkin Pecan Waffle Birthday Cake Sugar Cookie Royale. Did we do this one already? Oh no, that was Hufflepuff. I had a lot of similar sounding blends. Amazing. Decadent, delicious, so strong while it was going. Loved. Cupcakes at Tiffany's Zucchini Bread. These were bougie bars. This was really good. Amazing. A staple blend. I love L3's bakery blends. And then Fruit Loop Cheesecake. Really, really nice. Strong Fruit Loop. Their Fruit Loop is very long lasting. So this one lasted a long time mainly Fruit Loop heavy, really didn't notice the cheesecake note, but I just wanted the, the Fruit Loop anyway. So that was what I warmed throughout the month of February. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!